Warm summer like temperatures across the region today. You can see highs reaching up into the 80s across our area with those temperatures climbing uh, to record levels. The record high today, 85 degrees, was set back in 2011. But we've been up as high as 86 officially at BWI Marshall Airport, and that will set a new record for the day. We'll get the official high in the next few minutes. Could have bumped up to even 87 or so, but so far on the hourly reports, we've been up to at least 86 degrees, and it's still 86 at the airport. 82 in Randallstown, 84 in Westminster, a little bit cooler up in Cecil County, some low 80s, rising sun Elkton, low 80s at Ridgely and Easton, and it does get a little chillier if you're right on the beach. That ocean water is only in the upper 40s, so the beach temperatures are in the mid 60s. Same thing around the shore of the bay. If you're close enough to the cool waters of the Chesapeake, temperatures are noticeably cooler in those locations. And a few clouds and even some sprinkles of rain have tried to push into western Maryland, knocking their temperatures down just a little bit. And notice there's a little lightning strike right there. So uh, out in western Maryland, a couple of isolated showers or even thunderstorms are beginning to pop up, and that system is going to be moving in here late tonight and tomorrow morning. As the front moves through, we do have a slight chance for a shower, although it looks like most most of that activity will be hung up in the mountains and have a tough time reaching Baltimore. We'll see how it unfolds. That high pressure off the South Atlantic coast has been pumping the warm area and notice the 80s go all the way up into Southern New England, Boston hitting 80 degrees. They were up to 83 just a couple hours ago. So warm weather up and down the eastern seaboard, but this front is going to change things, get us back to normal, maybe even a few degrees below normal uh, toward the end of the week as those northwesterly winds kick in. And there's even some snowfall in the upper peninsula of Michigan, so there's still some chilly air left there. If you get the winds to shift, the temperatures are going to make a pretty big drop. Here comes the cold front. That's 1030 in the morning tomorrow, and Futurecast does show some clouds. But notice there's not a whole lot of rain associated with this front. One little isolated area of showers there. So we're not expecting much more than a brief shower or a sprinkle. And by about midday going into noontime or 1 o'clock, the front will be past Baltimore. The winds will shift to the northwest, and that little line of clouds and sprinkles will move off the coast and away from us. And then clear skies return tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Thursday looks like a nice day, but it will be noticeably cooler, a little bit closer to normal for the end of the week. 57 to 62 tonight, so another mild night, partly cloudy skies. And as we get past midnight, slight chance for an isolated shower. Winds continue out of the south tonight. Tomorrow, the winds shift to the northwest. When the front goes by, that triggers a couple scattered showers in the morning, but the sun comes back in the afternoon. Temperatures tomorrow not as warm, but still pleasant. 73 to 78 degrees tomorrow. Winds on the bay kicking in out of the northwest. Right now we're expecting 10 to 15 knot breeze. Waves around a foot, maybe up to two feet at times, and a couple of isolated sprinkles as the front moves through. So some temperature drop in the mountains there in the 70s today, 50s and 60s for the next couple of days as the front moves through. On the eastern shore, a chance for that midday shower, 75 tomorrow, then some sunshine for Thursday. Down at the coast, there's even the possibility you hear a little thunder mixed with those isolated showers tomorrow. And then about a 10 to 12 degree temperature drop going into Thursday. So the forecast for the next seven days, we kind of push summer away for a while to get back to spring mode, 75 tomorrow, 67 on Thursday, 63 degrees on Friday. Now the weekend, we do have showers on there, but keep in mind they're going to be scattered. It's not going to be raining the whole weekend. There'll even be some sunshine as well, about 70 on Saturday and warming back to near 80 degrees on Easter Sunday.